Trinity College is Ireland's oldest and, and indeed its most prestigious university. It's one of the top universities of the world and indeed students come from all over the world just to study here. As you come through the historic entrance here, you're really transported back into 18th century Dublin and you're confronted with these cobbled courtyards and the perfectly manicured lawns. And Trinity College is still a fully functional university and there's just under 16,000 students here today. Some of the famous alumni of Trinity College would include writers like uh, Jonathan Swift, author of Gulliver's Travels, and then more recently you had the former president of Ireland, Mary Robinson, graduated from here, and indeed her successor, Mary McAleese. Well, the Campanile, or the Bell Tower of Trinity, dates from 1842, and there's two bells located in the Campanile. The one at the top, the Commons Bell, that rings to call the scholars to their meal here in the dining hall beside us. And then the Great Bell, that rings for two occasions in Trinity. It rings for examinations in the examination hall, and it rings for funerals in the chapel. So the, the idea was it would call you to judgment by man in the exams and by God at your funeral. This is the famous old library or long room of Trinity College. Um, it's still a fully functional library and it's the largest single chamber library in the world. Inside here we have just over 200,000 books on display. They've been gathered from over four centuries of Trinity College Dublin's history. The old library and Book of Kells exhibition, it's the, one of the most popular tourist attractions in Ireland today. Just under half a million people come every year from all around the world just to view the book and see the library itself. The Book of Kells is a 9th century manuscript that's a copy of the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. We believe it originated from the island of Iona off the coast of Scotland, but it has been here in Trinity College since 1661. Consider the, the materials even used in the book that were sourced from all over the world. Uh, for example, the colour red, uh, that came from the Kermes beetle, which was a tiny insect only found around the Mediterranean. Uh, the yellow was a compound of arsenic that they imported from Persia. Some For anyone visiting Trinity College, the best recommendation is to pick up one of the official Trinity College walking tours, which start off from just inside Front Arch, the historical entrance to Trinity College. And these tours are half an hour long, and they cover the history of Trinity College, the famous people who have studied here, and a bit about the architecture you'll see and how it has developed over the centuries. These are all given by students of the college itself, and then they include your admission into the old library and Book of Kells exhibition at the very end. So it means you can take your time then wandering through the library, having already gotten a bit of context beforehand from the students of the college. <laughs>